the early years of Greenfield Baptist Church. There was no local law enforcement. The county sheriff was downtown Milwaukee, and there were no phones, radios, or internet. Churches took care of their own. The Milwaukee Baptist Church disciplined a member who refused to return borrowed property and worked on the Sabbath. I have blocked out the name of a man who broke the Seventh Commandment. The Seventh Commandment. Not all were excluded when they did wrong. Some people asked for forgiveness and were forgiven. But some others were not excluded. Our church had hard-working and relatively poor members. Remember? they were pioneers on the frontier. Other new churches had similar problems and they tried to work together. None of them had a church building. In 1843 some members from Hart's Mills broke off to form their own congregation closer to home in the more populous and prosperous Hart's Mills. As early as 1843 the struggling Greenfield Baptist formed a circuit with the churches of Brookfield, Granville, and Hart's Mills. One pastor served the four churches. Hart's Mills became the church center where baptism was administered, covenant meetings were held, and business transactions were completed. The pastor basically preached at each church every fourth week. Layman handled the business and administration. The Brookfield Baptists were probably centered in what we now know as Gerke's Corners on Blue Mound Road. The churches further organized in 1844 and made resolutions. It was the Baptist Church of Greenfield and Brookfield. Business meetings at Hart's Mills. No restrictions on prayers or meetings. Preaching was spread out based on wants with consideration given to who was paying the bill. A parsonage building committee was named. This union lasted until April 1847. On October 11, 1845, the Wauwatosa Baptist became an independent church. A church building was soon constructed in 1853 at the southwest corner of Wauwatosa Avenue and North Avenue as shown in the red square. The name was changed to the First Baptist Church of Wauwatosa. On the bottom left is a different view of the church in 1870. In the Wauwatosa Cemetery within the yellow rectangle, the green square became the location of the original church building as seen today. After this Victorian Gothic church was built in 1888 where the light blue square is. In 1906, the church changed its name to honor Reverend Underwood. In 1954, where the pink rectangle is, they built the modern facility of today. The early years were hard for our church. Members were few and were not wealthy. We will talk more about that next time.